Yeah. But that's why I always say people have got different experiences. There's no point trying to be anyone else but yourself. And mm. I think if you want to talk about keeping it real, like Roberta Flack once sung, keep it real compared to what? <laughs> you know, it, it's to me, the art yeah. gives me some kind of way of interpreting things, interpreting life. Yeah. It's all um, hermeneutics, mm. the art of interpretation, basically. And um, that's what it's all about. And I think um, feeding it through. It's feeding very difficult it in a time now when um, almost everything is derivative by default. Yeah. Um, so if everything is derivative by default, the, the best way of changing things is not so much like, um, I mean, some people might just do a, a letter thing mm. and go, let's do a different character because no one's ever done a character like that mm. on the train. But it's not big enough change. I think it needs to be conceptually. Yeah. And if I was coming at it now from a younger point of view, I'd probably, just off the top of my head, yeah, yeah, yeah. these aren't definite ideas that I would totally do, but mm. I'd think, OK, what can I do to a train? OK, I like the idea of um, if, if people look at this graph thing as being, like, predictable... Yeah, it's more graph. It'd just be, it's just more noise, isn't it? Mm. More white noise. Yeah, right. But if you painted a whole car black and got some of that sticker stuff and tinted the windows, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. black tinted window, yeah, yeah. Uh, then it's kind of like, eh, who repainted the car? Yeah. They almost start ringing them in, in amongst their mm -hmm. own authorities trying to work out why that car's black. Mm -hmm. Well, it can't be a vandal. Who the hell would want to do that? Yeah, yeah. So it, wow. it's the head scratch of it yeah. all. But from a conceptual point of view.